Hello and welcome to another Baldy Sims Reviews and today we're going to be doing a demo video of our fairly new Bosch Series 4 washing machine. I did a couple of uh, installation videos on that which were uploaded uh, a week or two ago so if you haven't seen those and you want to you can see those as well. Uh, but this video has been requested by a guy called Craig and this is more about how you operate the machine and how it goes through uh, the, the, the cycle um, pretty much from start to finish. So I'm going to be starting this video shortly and today I'm going to be helped by my lovely assistant Lorraine who knows a lot more about the actual operation of the machine than I do. I just do the installation, she does the uh, operation of it. So you'll see a little bit from her and a little bit from me. So keep on watching and uh, we'll find out what uh, the Bosch Siri 4 is all about. And I'm shooting another video about our nearly new Bosch Siri 4 washing machine. Uh, this time it's just showing a quick demonstration of a wash. So how we set it up and how it sounds when it's rinsing and spinning and all the rest of it. So let's get into it. So you probably want to explain this, that's for pre-wash. Yeah. That's for the conditioner. Yeah. And that's if you put the, the liquid in the washing machine. Right. But we don't. Okay. We put it in here. <clears throat> yeah, in one of those full things, whatever they are. Yeah. Not quite a ball, little pot thing. So in, oh, and what's happening here? The, and then this is the fabric conditioner, fabric which conditioner goes in here. In the middle one. Yeah. yeah as you can't so, see, it, it's already gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, so and then, so you close that. So that's all ready to go. Oh, washing in. Some washing in there, ready to go. And then goes that little pot thing. Yeah, and then you just close it. And then these are for 60, they're cottons. Right, now on, on comes the uh, screen. So you get the temperature here, which you can adjust, but we want it on 60, but it can also go 50, 40, 30. It's all touch 20. screen as well. So, and 90, but we want it. <laughs> On 60. 60. Um, yeah. You can adjust the spin. Yeah. Um, we've got it on the maximum, which is pretty good. 1400. You can adjust the finished in time. It says 2 hours 30, but I just, um, you can have it on eco as well, but I just keep it to whatever it says because um, if you have it on eco, it tells you in the booklet that it might not clean thoroughly. Right. So if you don't have time, if you if you've got the time you might as well use what they've recommended yeah there's a reducing ironing reduced ironing I don't, I don't bother with that and aqua plus i don't bother with that right um and then just start start on the little touch screen right on the you farm. can hear it's locked yeah the door yeah so you wouldn't be able to pull that open now there we go the water's coming in It's quite good that that touch screen up there, isn't it? It makes yeah. it a little bit it easier. easier. Um, if you did forget to put something in, you can press this. Yeah. And oop, and you can see it holds it, so right. that you could, and it unlocks it, so oh, you can right. then open it and put whatever um, you've forgotten. Oh, that's handy. Put it in, yeah. and close it again, and press the start button again. Right. Yeah, you can hear it locks it and it carries on going. Yeah, oh, that's a good good little feature as well. Yeah, it? and I think that's just it 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 only do it if like the water's not going to spill out and everything. It will yeah it will decide whether it will let you do it or not. Fair enough. Okay. So basically, we just leave it for two and a half hours now and uh, yeah let it do its thing. So it's filling up with water. So it's pretty quiet, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Right, well I think what we'll do is we'll sort of let it get on with its thing. There you go, that's it doing its washing really. Not that loud at all. Actually it'd be even quieter wouldn't it if we didn't have our little uh, pot thing. Yeah, and um, I haven't there. got very many on this washing cycle. Normally I'd have more more clothes in there. Right. Um, yeah. So you hear hear that hear that pot thing uh, with the yeah. washing liquid clonking around. But normally you wouldn't if I had more clothes in. Yeah. Okay, well you can see it's doing its thing. And it is very, very quiet. You can hardly hear the motor, all you can hear is the, the clothes slopping about really and then you can see um the timer is counting down oh right yes um so if you want to you go away you come back you wonder if the machine's finished yet it will tell you how long exactly you've got to go right cool okay so i'm standing about a meter back from the machine now and it's doing its normal wash cycle. You can tell that's very, very quiet indeed. There's almost no motor noise. It's just literally the water and the clothes that you can hear sloshing around in there. That's kind of the setting we put it to, cottons. So really, I guess the uh, you put it onto whichever those settings you need and then you move over to the touch screen here to finish up your setting up as Lorraine showed you there a minute ago before hitting start. This has been going a couple of hours now and you can hear the machine pumping out and ready to go into the uh, rinse cycle. So again the, the pump pumping out the uh, uh, the wash water is pretty quiet as well. Okay, it's just spun out the rinse water and we are going into the rinse cycle. Let's just see it trickling in down the back there. There we go, we've got 25 minutes on the clock. And we're rinsing, so I'll probably just come back for the final spin so you can see what that sounds like. So it's just uh, finished its first rinse, just spinning out the last of the uh, rinse water, and then it'll probably be going into its next rinse in uh, a very short period of time for now, shall we? So it's in a rinse spin now, so let's go out of the room. If we still go out into the living room here, you can probably barely hear it even though the door's open. The machine is actually spinning with the door closed and it's not very far away, it's only, uh, only there, that's the door into the kitchen. And I bet you can hardly hear, you can probably hear the tweeting birds outside more than you can hear the spinning washing machine. And there we go, that's it rinsing. Okay, we've got 10 minutes to go and it looks like the uh, little spin cycle's on there. And I think it's just winding up here to go into a full spin. We've got six minutes to go. It looks like uh, it does two rinse cycles before going into a good, good spin. Full 
only four minutes to go. And that is how loud it is for 1400 RPM, less than a metre away than the machine, probably half a metre away. Coming out of the kitchen, about two metres away from the machine. Very, very quiet. Certainly, if I close the door. You can probably just hear it thrumming away there. But it's so, so quiet. And certainly, once you sort of get a little bit further away. Yeah, probably three, four metres away from the machine now. Not sure if you can hear that. You tell me in the comments below. But yeah, it's a very, very quiet machine, and it only goes into full the, the absolute full spin like this for the last sort of four or five minutes. Uh, so you know, most of the time it's only spinning at you know, far less revolutions than this, where it's very, very quiet. You know, you hear the birds tweaking over the. Uh, the top of the noise when it's on the lower spin speeds. Right, got a minute to go. It's just winding down from its last final 1400 RPM spin, which has been going for about probably about four minutes. So the cycle will be finishing very, very shortly now. We'll open that door, see what it's, uh, what the washing looks like. There we go, that's the end of the cycle. Tells you in big red letters that it's the end. Now you get that beeping sound as well that you just heard. Um, it keeps doing it, it gives you about three bleeps. And then about a minute later it'll give you another three and it will just keep doing it until you actually come and turn it off so that might be a bit annoying but uh, um, you've just got to come in and turn it off there like so and then you'll get rid of the beeps and then we should be able to open that and there we go there's our clean washing Actually feels very dry as well. Very dry. I'm well, not obviously not totally dry, it's still a bit damp. But um but yeah. Even though let's have a look at that, that's a towel. Yeah, that is so dry. Yeah, certainly probably yeah, if you compare that from being absolutely ringing wet to bone dry, it's probably um eighty percent towards being bone dry. And yes, yeah, smells very fresh, so it's obviously done a very good job of cleaning. Throw that back in there for now. And yeah, that was our new Bosch Vario Perfect Series 4 washing machine in action. So that's the end of another Baldy Tim's Reviews. This time of the Bosch Series 4 washing machine, demonstrated both uh, by myself and mainly by my beautiful assistant Lorraine. So, I hope that gave you a few insights into the operation and washing cycles of the Bosch. So, thanks for watching.